So we're going to look at how the actual system works in real time um, from loading animals and scanning them in and what happens when you first turn your phone on. So this is the app screen. So we go to our app, which is already preloaded onto your phone when you receive it. Uh, you can either do it online or offline, so we've got no signal here today, so we'll do it offline. Okay, so as you can see from that, I've only got one animal loaded onto my flock at present. So we'll have a look at that animal. I would go to View History by EID tag. You hear in the background the beep, my reader's turned on and it's come up ready to scan tags. Press volume down to stop reading. So I'll scan this tag. So I've scanned the tag, it's loaded. And as you can see, it's sprung up, it's complete history. So it's got historic treatments, it's got weights at the bottom, it's breed, it's join date and it's date of birth. So I want to stop reading tags, so I just press volume down on the side of the phone, it says reading stopped. So now what I want to do is, I've just got my new phone, I want to add a hundred lambs into the, into the app. So I go to add new, and I get my readers turned on. So I'm going to add, start reading tags. It's ready to scan tags. So I've scanned the tag. And it brings up the number here, number one at the side. You could do that for one tag or a hundred, it doesn't really matter. After that, I'll go to stop reading tags. And then I can select all my parameters that I've preloaded into my software. So female, my breed is a Texel, uh, join date and date of birth, whatever information you want to put in there. At that point, I'd hit add new. So, add new. This has been recorded in the app and will be transferred at the next synchronization. So that means you have to have an, an internet signal to send that to your farm software package. As we're working offline, that's not a problem for us today. What I would do when I go home and become online with my Wi-Fi account, I would just press synchronize again. Are you sure you wish to synchronize? Only confirm if you're currently online. Okay, when I'm online, that will then suck the information that I put into the app onto my farm software package. What you would then see is 101 animals loaded. They're now in your flock. After that, you can start doing whatever you want with them. If you want to put them for treatments, same process again. Select the treatment that you want to give them and start reading tags. So you treat your animals and scan them as they've been treated. When you've done it all, save treatment and synchronize it with your database. The same for a seal. Start reading tags, read all the animals off the lorry into the market save that and synchronize it will give you your sales report for weights again putting in the date you're starting to read the tags and then you're entering the different weights from the last time that you you weighed them which will give you in that history uh, all the the weight gains between a certain period uh, you've got deaths as well, same process again, you're starting to read the tags and making any notes you want to and once you save that, 
that's fine. It can be synchronised to your farm software account. Um, so from a legislative requirement, everything that you need will then be saved in your farm software account. If you get an inspection, you can print off you know, any sales reports. Uh, if you have a misunderstanding with the markets or a discrepancy of how many tags they read, you can again read it without having to go right through every number and write them out manually. From a productivity point of view, you will then be able to look at your weight gains, what animals are performing for you, what animals are needing more treatment than others, and making sure that your, your medical records are up to date as well. When this is going to get very clever is when the National Sheep Database uh, becomes live in 2014. What we want to achieve is that when you synchronise, you're not only synchronising to your own farm software package, but also to the National Sheep Database. Unfortunately, that can't happen yet because there is no National Sheep Database, but we know it is coming in uh, the mid part of next year and we have access to speak into it. So effectively, you could record a movement and it could be straight away sent to DEFRA from your phone. So all in all, it's very simple to use. It's incorporating uh, a piece of equipment that we all use on a daily basis and we've tried to give it a price point that makes it accessible and affordable to everybody from the smallholder to the commercial farmer. Um, for more information, uh, feel free to contact us at Countryside Services on 01226 345 390 or contact John on 07545 929 809. Thank you for watching.